stay out of my way. Hey Shocker, it's so nice to see you again. I missed you a lot. But what about you? Did you miss me? Ugh, Spider-Man. I think you know I didn't miss you. But it's a sure good thing I won't see you anymore after this. If you really didn't want to see me again, then why did you rob a bank? I've heard enough of your talking. Hey Herman, for a guy whose only power is shooting shockwaves, you sure are bad at hitting people with those. Says the guy whose goal is always to defeat villains and they're always escaping. Touche. <laughs> Hey Schultz, I want to see your pretty face. You may have won this round, Spider-Man. But trust me, once I get out of prison again, I'll make every skyscraper in New York fall on top of you. You know what? I actually hear that a lot from my other villains, and they never succeed in doing that. Good luck with it anyways. Hey Spider, up in the sky, who's that? Hobgoblin. <laughs> You know, Hobgoblin, I was just celebrating that you were behind bars. Spider-Man! Can't say I missed you. Yeah, I know how you feel. I feel the same way about you. <laughs> You're no match for me, Spider-Man. Next time we meet, actively try to put up a fight. <laughs> Perfect. Have to deal with him again. Hello, Ned. Hey, you know what's weird? I just saw the Hobgoblin and you happen to be in your cell. Care to explain? I've been in here all day. Have you ever considered that maybe I'm not the Hobgoblin? Stop lying to me, Leeds. Oh, he's not lying. That's the real Hobgoblin. Shoot him! Wait, Ned's not the Hobgoblin? I saw him in your costume. You really have no idea? <sighs> Out of all of the villains, I seem to be the first to make Spider-Man look stupid! <laughs> you stole my outfit, Leeds! And for that, why don't you taste Pumpkin Bomb? <laughs> and Hobgoblin got away again. What a perfect day I'm having. Huh, can <laughs> Hello, oh, hey Peter. How's your day going? It's, uh, complicated. How so? Well, I was doing my routine, you know, swing through the city when all of a sudden it turns out Shocker's out of prison, and then it turns out Hobgoblin's back. Ned got out of prison? That's the main part of the complications. Turns out Hobgoblin isn't Ned. Well, then who is it? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Well, who would want to frame Ned? I'm not sure. I can't think of anyone who didn't like Ned. What about Jameson? For one, Jameson hates everyone, and for another, Jameson's too old, fat, and stupid to be the Hobgoblin. And Hobgoblin sure isn't old. <laughs> true. Hey, what about that one lady? I don't remember her name, but I think... I think it begins with a B. It might be Brittany, or, or Bethany... It was something like that. Are you talking about Betty Brant? Yeah! Betty! Ned was stalking Betty. Maybe it was her! Hmm, Hobgoblin's voice sure is womanly. But it's not that womanly, and plus, Betty isn't pure evil. She told me after Ned was in prison that she forgave him for stalking her, but then she found out that he was the Hobgoblin and broke her heart. Well, then who is it? I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't keep looking at Ned and think more about Green Goblin. Wait, Roderick Kingsley. What about him? Norman told me that in his office, he has his keycard to his Green Goblin lair. Maybe Kingsley took it found the lair and became the Hobgoblin. I'm surprised this is the first time you've thought of this. I gotta go, Gwen. I have a meeting with Roderick Kingsley. <laughs> of course Kingsley's office is locked. Spider-Man, what are you doing in Oscorp? 
Oh, I want to speak to the CEO, Roderick Kingsley. Mr. Kingsley is busy at the moment. He's been on the phone for the last couple of hours. Great. Wait, maybe it wasn't Kingsley. Maybe someone who hated Kingsley snuck into his office and took the key car. Hey, Mr. Mencken. Do you know of anyone who hates the CEO? Well, I knew this one man who hated Kingsley, uh, Phil Ewick. Phil, yeah, I heard that he was wrongly expecting money back from Kingsley. Uh, where is he now? He's dead. Cause of death was an explosion in his house caused by a pumpkin grenade, apparently. Hoggoblin. Uh, um, hey, uh, do, do you know of any others? Yeah, there was one petty fog named An Arnold Donovan. He went by Lefty. Kingsley exposed him for his crimes, and he's also dead. Died from a glider hitting him. Is there anyone else? There's another one named Jason Masondale. Uh, Kingsley used to own a company, they were rivals. He also recently died. What was the cause of death? Apparently, he was poisoned. Do you know of anyone who's alive and hates Roderick? Well, I hate him, but I don't know what you're trying to get at. It's you. You are the Hobgoblin. Why are you accusing me of that? What proof do you have that I'm a criminal? Hobgoblin snuck into Green Goblin's secret office here and became the Hobgoblin, and the key card is in Kingsley's office. Only someone who hates Kingsley would steal it. Well, it's not me. How about Harry Osborne? He hates Kingsley more than anyone. Harry... He... He can't be the Hobgoblin. But maybe he is. I'll ask him. What are you doing here, Pete? I, I mean, Spider-Man. Hey, Harry. I have to ask you a question, and I need you to be 100% honest with me. Sure. What is it? Are you the Hobgoblin? What? Why would you accuse me of being him? Because you're one of the most likely suspects to be him. <laughs> no. It really is Harry. <laughs> oh, I was really hoping it wasn't you, Harry. I'm not the Hobgoblin. If you aren't, then why are you running away from me? Just because I'm running away after you accuse me doesn't mean I'm the Hobgoblin. I'm that Spider-Man! Hobgoblin? Sorry, Harry. It's fine. So you're not Ned and you're not Harry or Mankin? Seriously, who are you? I have no hope that you'll figure it out at this point in time. Why don't we go in the CEO's office? Spider-Man. What is this madman doing in my office? Stay back. Get out of my office. Die, Kingsley! Roderick, you're not going anywhere. I got you now. There's no one here. <coughs> Kingsley, you're alive? Not just alive. I'm surprised it took you this long to find out that Roderick Kingsley is the Hobgoblin. You're up. Good. You were the Hobgoblin all along? But I saw Roger Kingsley and Hobgoblin both at the same time. That was all part of my plan to set off your suspicion. I filmed myself acting as if I was busy in advance, and then acted as if you and the Hobgoblin were fighting in my office. Then, I had that recording of myself as a hologram, and I took you to my office, all so that you would not suspect me. But I saw Hobgoblin kill you. I turned off my hologram when I threw my pumpkin bomb. It's amazing how I was able to outsmart Spider-Man. But what about Ned? I needed to set off your suspicion of me being Hobgoblin. So I put the Goblin Green Serum in his hotel. I heard about what a hard time he was having, and if I gave him a happiness serum, he could pose as Hobgoblin for me. Seriously, Roderick, why are you doing all this? You really desperately want answers, don't you? Of course I am. You want an explanation on how I became the Hobgoblin. Fair enough. When I was hired as the CEO of Oscorp, I found Norman's pass to a secret office only he could access. Out of curiosity, I checked out his office, 
and there I found all his green goblin equipment and his spare suit and glider, which turned into the hobgoblin suit. I found the substance that turned Norman into the goblin and took it. And then I became the hobgoblin. Well, thank you for rambling so long, because now I get to uh, break out of my bonds. Well, that's problematic. But I'm still going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> All along, you were the hobgoblin Kinsley. Now, you'll pay for stealing my equipment. Norman? Do you have any last words? You are a failure at everything, Osborne. I'm a better CEO than you. I'm a better goblin than you. And overall, I'm a better person than you. Not very wise to insult the person who is about to kill you. Goodbye, Hobgoblin! No! Oh, Drake. <laughs> well, at least I won't hear any more of Hobgoblin.